hindi kumikita yung UL or bakit ba low yung fund value kahit 5 years na ako nagpabayad or 10 years na ako nagpabayad. So, hi everyone! Hello, Hello. everyone! Hi. hi! So, welcome to another episode of Wealth RT. So, I'm Adriel Kaumban, the Junior Financial Planner of Wealth RT. And of course, we have a new guest, si Marion, yung recent hire natin. And of course, one of our newly hired Junior Financial Planners. So, hi Marion! Welcome. Hello, hello Adriel! Magandang umaga sa'yo. At, ay, magandang yeah. araw sa'yo at magandang araw sa ating lahat. Yes, Ma Evangelista, oh, Junior Financial Planner then yes. ng Wealth Archy. Mm-hmm. So, hello. So, for this week we will want to discuss this very special topic. How do you earn in a VUL? But before we get into the topic, we just want to give a big shout out to Sir Richard Paul Francisco who requested this topic for us. So, hi sir. Hello. Ayan, masasagot na natin video. yung oh, oh, topic ni niya. Sir Fran- Richard. Oo, oh, ni Sir Richard. At, and at the same time, this would also help then our audience understand how does a VUL earn? No, because a lot of people have been asking uh, about their policies and of course their fund values as to why it's not earning. So yun. Um, but before that, I would like to give the newly visited um, viewers to subscribe in our channel and of course give this video a thumbs up. Yun lang. <laughs> so okay, let's start now, Marion. Mm, so start. how do you earn in a VUL? But before mm. we get into that, we just need to discuss very briefly what a VUL is. So again guys, a VUL or a variable unit linked insurance is both an investment and a life insurance component. Kumbaga, it's a two-in-one special na insurance product. Mm, so, so uh, pag VUL, tandaan lang natin, sa tama si Adriel, in, it's an insurance combined with an investment. Tama, two, two plus one uh, type of policy siya. Yeah, and you cannot separate the investment and insurance. So for a more detailed explanation regarding that, please visit our video regarding SAP of VUL. We uh, explained it more deeply. Because this simple definition would be important later. So how do you earn in a VUL? How do you earn in a VUL? Yes, so it's similar to a mutual fund where there's a group of investors where they pool their money and a fund manager invests that money in certain securities. So this can be equities, bonds, a mixture of equities and bonds, and then money market accounts. So union securities. And then these securities generates returns and then this passed back to investors. Kaya kailangan, Adriel, yung ating mga kukuha ng VUL, kailangan mm-hmm. din nila magtanong sa kanilang ahente, ano ba ang nararapat na policy na, or nararapat na funds na pwede nilang kunin based on their risk appetite? Yes. Uh, so usually we have, we actually have a video regarding that, how to choose your VUL fund. So yes, you're right, Marion. Uh, you really need to ask the agent regarding financial needs analysis, which fund is right for me, because that would dictate the growth of your VUL. At wag so kayong like, papayag, wag kayong papayag na yung ahente na ang magsasabi kung anong policy yung ilalagay sa VUL ninyo. You have the right to ask, and based mm-hmm. on your risk tolerance or yung risk appetite ninyo, kung balanced fund ba kayo or doon ba kayo sa mga aggressive funds ang kukunin nyo or you would like to balance both pwede rin naman yun yes pwede naman yun kaya importante na tanungin yung agent and of course kailangan fit sa needs mo yung fund so in line with that so how does a VOL earn tama nga similar to mutual fund so that means it is through the price appreciation of its NAFCO o yung tinatawag natin net asset value per unit so just to give a example, so for example, for this index fund, as you can see, pataas pa baba siya. So if you do peso cost averaging you know, in your policy, kapag quarterly, annual, or semi-annual, your mode of payment or frequency of payment, um, eventually bababa yung average price mo. So when you redeem at a certain point in time, hopefully it's more than the average price para may gain siya. No? 
Tama, di ba, Marian? Oh, yes. Yeah. So again, this is invested into different funds, no? And of course, funds are subject to volatility. It depends on the market fluctuation. And then, sabi nga ni Adriel, it's a good time. It's good if maganda yung performance ng market kung saan naka-invest yung funds mo. Yes. So that's why we, we highlighted earlier that it's important to talk to your agent and let the agent do financial needs analysis. Hindi lang yung PowerPoint ng PowerPoint na parang sales talk lang. So this sabi, is very important. No? Sa, sabi nga nila, di ba? If you want to gain big, then you should be willing to risk big. But if you're not willing to risk big, then yung gains, not so much. So again, it all depends on you. What type or what your needs are. Tama si Adriel doon. Yeah. So for another example, for this example, ito bond fund naman to. So as you can see, pataas siya. But even if it's a bond fund, mayroon din certain dips at some point. So yun. Mm -hmm. Now, we explained properly regarding what ANAPU is and what a mutual fund is. So baka nagtataka na yung viewers natin, no? Kung bakit hindi kumikita yung UL or bakit ba low yung fund value kahit 5 years na ako nagpabayad or 10 years na ako nagpabayad. So actually, oh. yung reason dyan is may cost of insurance siya and charges and fees. Kaya important yung definition sa start na it's still an investment and insurance no ang VUL. Lalo na sa regular pay. Because kapag sa regular pay VUL, may tinatawag na cost of insurance. So ito yung premium charges during the first 3 to 5 years. Kada 80 per 100 per 200 per cent kapag first year. And then bumababa siya every year. Yung admin fees, of course, yung admin cost of keeping the policy in force. And this is subject to insurance company to insurance company. So mm -hmm. please uh, get in touch with your agent if you're confused with the admin fees because it's different per insurance company. And of mm -hmm. course, since it's also an investment, so my market risk din siya or volatility risk. So that's, these three would affect the fund value and of course, it would affect the gain of your fund. Important Kaya, din kasi kung anong type of fund siya. Yun yung hina-highlight kanina pa actually. Ayun, Marian, you have about to say something. Oh, kaya yung nakikita natin no in a VUL, makikita natin sa umpisa first year or first two years ng policy, parang wala pang napupunta doon sa funds kung saan ka may investment dapat. Ito ay ginagawa yeah. ng insurance company para bayaran mo na yung cost of insurance, cost ng coverage mo in case na untimely death, for example. And then, yes. yung admin fees, I, would, I, I also like to highlight yung sinabi ni Adriel, because your funds are managed by a fund manager, just like a mutual fund, then they also have to be compensated for what they do. And this is what the purpose of the admin fees are. Yes. Um, actually, per company has certain admin fees. So, actually, nakikita din yan sa policy. Kailangan lang nila i-check yung policy and charges na page. So this, yun nga, this is different per insurance company to insurance company. So we can actually review your policy, no? So you can always email us at admin at worldmarketing.com if you feel like your agent cannot be reached out to. So yun. O, oh, doon tayo pwedeng pumasok kapag mm -hmm. nahirapan sila to communicate with the agent. Nandito naman si WealthRK to help them assess their yeah. current policy. Yes, to help and assist with their current policies. So as an example, katulad sinabi ni Marion kanina, as you can see for this example, sa first year, fund allocation, wala. Because most of it went to the insurance company. Tapos sa second year, 50-50, pero wala pa rin fund value. So just clarify with the agent kung bakit ka nito. Because again, different ULs have different structures. And different agents would have different explanations then. But in general, though, the point that we want to show you is during the first two years, very low yung fund value. So this would affect the investment growth. That's why when we get VULs, it's a case-to-case -case basis. Kaya importante yung financial needs analysis, lalo na yung insurance computation. Because you don't want to get in into something that you don't know. And that might cause unnecessary stress in the future. Lalo na kapag insurance yung pinag-uusapan. Because this would go to your beneficiaries, di ba, Mario? Oh. So, 
it would be a very big hassle for your beneficiaries if hindi na properly well compute yung insurance amount nila. Oh, totoo yan, Adriel. No? Minsan, or maraming cases na napapabili tayo ng insurance dahil kilala natin yung ahente or at the same time, hindi na tayo nagtatanong ng iba't ibang produkto na meron yung insurance company na yon. Siguro mm-hmm. ay nahihirapan tayong basahin lahat or aralin lahat and then sasabihin ng ahente, oh, bili na lang tayo ng VUL, maganda yung VUL. Yes, may advantage yung VUL, but tama si Adriel, it depends on your needs. And tingnan natin, no, because the yung the future of your beneficiaries in case of untimely death rests on your insurance policy. Yes. No. Um that's why yeah, that's why we really emphasize consultations because we want to get to know your needs, everything from cash flow to your goals because this would affect the type of insurance we'll be getting. So, if you're wondering, no. So, let's move forward. So, kung down yung client, ayun na niya sa so UL niya dahil hindi naman kumikita. So, ano yung alternatives natin? Or when do you get EVUL first? So, you get EVUL if you're cash liquid. Ibig sabihin, marami kang pera. At the same time, um, you can fund all of your goals. You can fund, of course, other matters, other expenses. So, that that's the definition of cash liquid. And then second, if your attention is long-term insurance growth, because normally with PUL, it's a on a regular pay, it's meant to grow your insurance amount. So if I have 1M, yung target ko is 2M. So yun yung purpose ng fund value. But there are other companies where either or. So please check na lang with the insurance company. Um, again, lastly, if you have low insurance needs, but still need, let's say, a bit more insurance. But this is a case-to-case basis because it's depending on the gap of insurance that you need. So if the gap is like 200,000, then the next slide would explain na baka ito na lang yung alternative. But if the insurance gap is like say around 500,000 or 1M, then baka pwede yung VUL. It's just depending on the budget. Oh, gusto ko lang i-highlight yung sinabi mo, Adriel, yung last part. It depends on the budget. Tandaan natin na VUL, since again, going back to the definition, investment and insurance product siya. So it will demand more budget sa client to really yeah. have a VUL. At mamaya, mm-hmm. makikita natin sa next slide. Kung hindi natin kaya yung VUL, meron pa tayong ibang mga produkto na pwedeng i-consider as far as getting a life insurance policy. Yeah, not just products but other alternatives. So what are the alternatives then if hindi VUL? So pwede nga, of course, the product is obviously term insurance. So this is the cheapest form of insurance. Um, we'll not delve into this more because we also have a video regarding that, so yung UTID strategy. So next is, of course, savings, pwede yung emergency fund. Or if you have ample cash in your bank, then that can be an alternative then. And this is also case to case, lalo na kapag wala kang dependents. So again, recommendations will vary. And of course, take this as a grain of salt. And another alternative, of course, we need plants. Dahil pwede naman i-cover yung burial cost kapag wala ka naman dependents, like Eternal or sa St. Peter's. Commonly, ito yung dalawa. Mm-hmm. And of course, lastly, meron din tayong ano, free savings with insurance. If you're familiar with BPI Pamana, savings, hindi yung BPI Pamana for FWs, that's different. Um, but for more information for BPI Pamana savings, please check our video in the playlist or in the description below. And of course, the newly released BPI Save Up and Security Bank All Access. So, yung savings mo may multiplier, and then kung ano yung amount doon sa savings mo times a certain multiplier, that's your insurance. So this can this four can be alternatives. Um, do you have any alternatives, Marion, besides this four? Na naisip mo. Well, from this four, ang ma- ang nagustuhan ko dito is yung BPI pamana, Security Bank All Access. Kasi imagine mo, meron ka lang deposit or meron ka lang account sa BPI, and then you enroll it into BPI pamana, and then you're covered na pala. It's a, it's a cheaper way than perhaps investing in a VUL or it's a good it's another yeah. good alternative than considering a VUL, diba? Mm-hmm. So just satisfy the minimum requirement ba or yung minimum savings rate ay account for 
Bipay Pamana, Save Up, and All Access, then you can open the account. Um, just get in touch with the customer service in the banks because, for example, BPI, Save Up, Pamana, BPI, Security Bank, also Security Bank. So get in touch with them because they would know more about these products. And of course, recommendations will vary. So like I, what I said earlier, these four are alternatives, but if you can afford a VUL or maybe different insurance products, you will fit sa need mo. So most likely we'll go for it. But of course, we need to evaluate your cash flow and then discuss certain other financial matters before delving into this. No? Um, Oh, sabi mo nga Adriel, uh, nakwento mo nga no, yung pag may sakit tayo, hindi lahat ng sakit nagagamot ng gamot sa ubo. 'Di ba? Yeah. Means, sa lahat so lahat sa financial needs or insurance needs natin, hindi naman siguro lahat ay kayang ibigay ng VUL. Meron pa tayong ibang maaring finance insurance products na magagamit depende sa budget and depende sa needs ni client. So feel free to consult para malaman natin kung ano yung nararapat para sa inyo. Yes. So I guess that's it. We've been talking for a while now. So that's how you earn in a VUL. Um, any last thoughts, Mario? Uh, life insurance is a very important tool na lahat tayo, dapat meron tayo. But as we search for the right life insurance policy, una sa lahat, wag po tayong mahihiya na kausapin ang ating ahente, magtanong tayo, mag-usisa tayo, dahil a life insurance policy is an obligation and then uh, it is an assurance na ang mga beneficiaries natin will have something in case of untimely demise. Yeah, no, I agree that life insurance is very important, but there are cases then that Maybe the client does not need any more life insurance, but mas kailangan yung health insurance. So we also have a video regarding that. Uh, maybe no, in the future, we can create a video on maybe questions or yeah, probing questions to ask when you're meeting a sales agent, lalo na sa insurance or sa investment. Uh, because yun kasi yung mga common topics na tinatanong sa atin. So, yun. so I guess that's it. So, thank you guys for tuning in and listening to this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up so that this video can be visible to other people as well. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and of course, smash that notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. And I'm Mar Adriel, then Marion. So, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.